Hey Alec here, in this video I'm going to be looking at the profile of Semindu, who's a graphic designer. So the first thing we're going to notice, I'm going to put this in full screen, is his profile picture, which looks really good. It's not the best profile picture I've ever seen, but it looks professional and it's much better than what most people have on Upwork. So good job there. I uh, come from Sri Lanka. I'm going to start with the right side of your website first, and then we're going to look at the left side. Well, actually, no. Let's do the left side first because there's not much. So you went to university in data science. Oh, that's okay. You are in university in data science. That's interesting. Great field of work. Actually, I realized recently that it seems to be the number one highest paying job on average on Upwork. So you chose a great field to study. Uh, great that you can find um, great that you try to find jobs on Upwork in the meantime to make money uh, many freelancers use that while they're in uh, college or uh, high school well maybe not many in high school maybe more on Fiverr but uh, yeah great 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 move so you're native or bilingual in English which is great so yeah let's see Graphic designer, branding, and flyer design expert. That's a great title. You did a good job there. I like the fact that you're using a um, proven format with job title with a slash here and your specialization here, just like I teach. So good job there. You have a decent hourly rate for a new profile with no job history so far. I'm going to look at your portfolio uh, later, which is really important for a graphic designer. So. I don't like that you start with about me because what's going to happen is that once they do your profile overview, if we look at a profile overview, um, yeah, not sure. Yeah, let's uh, go on that other tab. So let's look for talent. I'm going to try to find you actually. Okay, so here's your profile overview. So it's sort of weird how it looks like. You have about me, I am a graphic designer. It sort of appears as a weird paragraph or weird sentence that doesn't make sense. So I would remove this about me part because it makes your profile overview look a bit weird and nonsensical. So yeah, then I am a graphic designer specializing in branding and flyer design. By the way, this overview is what people see when they're searching for your profile and also when you send them a proposal, they see something similar. And also when they um, create a job posting, Upwork will recommend freelancers that they can invite to these jobs and they're gonna be shown something similar. So you wanna be careful about this overview. Your overview is very important. I'm a graphic designer specializing in branding and flyer design with over three years of experience. Good, that's a good start. I would start with something like I specialize in branding and flyer design and I have three years over three years of experience. I wouldn't start with I am a graphic designer because you already say that in your title. So you're sort of wasting important real estate in your profile overview, right? So here, as you can see, uh, about me, I am a graphic designer. You, you're basically wasting all the early part of this, telling them things that are already known by looking at your job title here. So yeah, I would start with, I specialize in branding and flyer design, and I have three years of experience. But what I would do, actually, I'm gonna show you some better example. I'm gonna show you some web developer. I think we're gonna look at, at Tinder. Um, yeah, I remember that's one of the good profiles that I've seen recently. Uh, not in jobs, in talent. I don't know why that opened. My Chromebook is sort of lagging. Okay, so a Tinder. There we go. So as you can see, we're actually going to look at uh, his profile overview here. So you can see that his text in his profile overview looks very different from yours. As you can see, yours is just a block of text. He has these emojis that separate the important 
things in his profile. So you want to do something like this. What I would do is start with something like this, an emoji. Your first thing is specialized in branding and flyer design, another emoji over three years of experience. And if you have other things that really make you look competent, you can make other emojis up to four or five is pretty good. And then the rest of these two first line needs to all be some of the most impactful and important things uh, when it comes to creating credibility and making you seem trustworthy. And what I mean by trustworthy is that you need to seem like the sort of person that if they give you money, you're gonna do a good job. So uh, yeah, start with all the best things. Uh, but the content in what you wrote is good. It's just that the format is not optimal. Uh, opt optimal. Yeah, optimal. So I have successfully helped more than 60 businesses enhance their brand identity and create compelling flyers that create capture attention. Okay. So for example, you could have, um, over three years of experience specialized in branding and flyer design. And the third emoji bullet point would be over 60 satisfied customers. And then you can start with the rest and, and, and talk about the fact that you have helped more than 60 businesses enhance their brand identity and use all that sentence that um, later in your in your description. Additionally, I can work on various other fields in graphic design, including package design and logo creation. Okay, my skills. That's great. That's great. Um, what I would use, however, is that um, since you're not going to have about me here, it sort of feels weird that you would have my skills with a space here. So what I would do is that I would either uh, turn this into bold text, which you can do with special characters, or uh, add an, an emoji before every one of these lines so that it sort of makes some sort of bullet point list. So branding, flyer design, logo design, everything is consistent so far. Everything is related so far. I like that package design. That's cool. I would maybe put that at the top because not many people can do that or maybe closer to the top, although at least over logo, okay? Too many people offer logo. So maybe put package design over logo design. Tools proficient in uh, Adobe Creative Suite, including Illustrator, Photoshop, InDesign, that's great. Expertise, everything that you put there is pretty good. I'm curious why what, what I offer is with this block of text because it's clearly the title for the next section. So maybe you should look at uh, these sort of details. But again, like you can use uh, the same format that I offered with uh, title in bold or title normal with uh, every line in your block of in your list, starting with an emoji to create some sort of bullet point list. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure if a Tinder does that. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, Well, he does something similar here with uh, a title that is clearly distinct from the rest, and he uses these checkmark, checkmark uh, emojis uh, here to create some sort of bullet point list. So you can create, create something similar to this. So what you offer is end-to-end -end project management. That's really well said. That the, the phrasing of this is really pretty good. From initial concept to final execution, I ensure your project is completed efficiently and effectively. You're really good. Your communication, the, the text in your profile is really good. You did a great job on that and you your level of English in there is really good. So uh, either you're really good at using AI or uh, editing your text or your English is really good. In both cases, you should be proud. So clear communication, I believe regular updates. Okay, that, that's pretty good too. Let's work together. Whether you need to develop a strong brand and identity, design an eye-catching flyer or create memorable logos, I'm here to help. Let's collaborate to evaluate your brand and achieve outstanding results. Contact me today to get started. Great call to action at the end. Uh, the communication, the way you talk, it's great. I, 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 I really love your profile so far. There is formatting things that should be changed. As I said, like put emojis, create bullet point lists, but the text, the text is fine. The text is fine. So next we have your portfolio. I'm going to look at the portfolio at the end. I'm going to start here with skills. You need to put more skills. The reason you need to put more skills is that skills help you with 
getting recommended by Upwork to clients. It helps you appear higher in search results when clients search for freelancers. It helps you get more recommended to clients so you get more job invitations. And also it helps your proposals appear higher when you apply to jobs. So you wanna put more skills in there. Of course, you don't wanna lie. You wanna put skills that you actually can do, right? But you want to use as many slots as you can and put as many skills as you can on your profile while remaining honest. So employment history, you have a lot of work experience in graphic design. That's awesome. And you have experience as a social media manager, which is also cool and related to Internet marketing. And although it's not graphic design, it's still related enough so that clients are going to find that cool. So, yeah, it establishes that uh, you are trustworthy and uh, and an expert in the field. I, I love that. You have a great profile so far. So let's look at your portfolio, brochures. Okay, I'm not, I, I, I just read the prof product description. So project description, they gave me the basic Word document and impressed as usual. So this sentence does not make a lot of sense. You need to rewrite this sentence and maybe put a little bit more uh, detail about the project, what you did. I like the fact that you don't talk about the company that you worked for because that doesn't matter. And many, many people just say, oh, I made a website for a company that does this. Like, who cares what they do? What you talk about is uh, here's what they told me to do and here's what they gave me. And so I did whatever X thing, uh, just put more detail. Tell me more about what you did in that project, what you learned, what you were responsible for, what were the uh, challenges you have to had to overcome, how you overcame them, that sort of thing. But this is good looking. I like it. And uh, you're on the right track. So, okay, so you did these projects uh, as practice. That's cool. I, I like these projects. You have it's good looking. It's cool practice projects. I like it. There's nothing wrong, by the way, by about putting practice projects on your portfolio. Really nothing wrong about that. Many people are afraid because they don't have work experience and they can't put projects they did for a client. That doesn't matter. Projects you do for yourself for practice absolutely can put can be put on your portfolio because it still showcases your skills. Like you can see, this is great looking. Actually, maybe it should be at the top. Um, or this one is great looking as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, even though these are not things that you were paid for, clients can see your skills there and they still help you get jobs. So I like this uh, project. Package design, let's see. <laughs> oh. Interesting design. All right. Yeah, you, you showcase some skills. That's great projects. And you have four on your portfolio. This one looks a bit worse than the others, but it looks like a project that you were paid for or hired for. So yeah, I, I like it and I like that you put it there. So all right. Yeah, you have a you're, you have a decent portfolio. You have a decent profile. Um, I'm sort of disappointed because I couldn't give you a lot of of advice, but maybe that's a good thing because you have a great profile already. Just a couple of things to uh, to improve. And yeah, uh, a lot of people. If, if you're watching this, this is a good profile to learn from. And I think Samindu, if you try to apply to a lot of jobs and you're patient and consistent, it's going to take not a lot of time before you start getting jobs. And if you're struggling to get jobs, I recommend you go check out my course, uh, Proposal Secrets. It's going to show you how to um, create good proposals to stand out so that when you apply to jobs, you have a great chance of getting hired. And with a great profile picture like this and a great uh, profile like this, if you have good proposals, I think it would be probably enough for you to get started on Upwork uh, successfully. So yeah, uh, with that, if you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next videos. Take care.